okay welcome back to our part two video on how to install security onion hybrid hunter this is continuing from where we finished last time so after all the installation automated installation is done this is what we're going to see it's just going to ask you to restart so go ahead and reboot yes we hit enter and you to reboot my machine for me after it reboots this is what you are faced with so now we need to sign in with our new username and password that we created and for me it was elma conem and then uh we put in our password and we're in first thing that we want to find out is our ip address of course see if it stuck it says 192.168.5.105 all right so we see that we have our interfaces and everything looks good so next we just refer to our documentation from security onion um, this will be where you go to the quick start guide and from here it just tells you um, everything that you need to do so first thing it says sudo so allow so let's do that and it's going to ask for for our sudo password there we go so now we have to allow say analyst so uh in a safe environment you want to allow your network uh analyst workstation say their vlan or their specific ip address so i choose a to allow since this is just my lab i'm going to allow um the range for me is 192.168.5.0 i'm allowing the whole subnet because my lab is pretty secure i think so there we go this will take a while and then we'll do the same thing sudo so allow for log stash bit uh for os query os query and for the wazar endpoint so that's what you do here that's the first step so while that is happening our quick start guide also now tells us for us to get into our kibana i mean our grafana we just have to sign in with admin and this one and you're going to notice that once everything is done let's just go to go back here let's let's give it this one a few minutes so uh we can go back and sign into our first time into security all right when it's done let's run so allow again so i'm just going to show you how to allow two things and you can finish the race by yourself uh so say you want to allow log stash just choose b and do the same 192.168.5.0 slash 24 obviously this will be your workstation or your network depending on your lab set when when everything is done and you go to the ip address of your security onion this time i'm going to 192.168.5.81 but if i wanted to i can go to 192.168.5.0 let's see this is what you'll be faced with if you're going to the new installation then proceed and it's identical to what i just showed you so that means our installation is done kibana is not set up right now uh let's st start with grafana see if we can see something there right and the installation says this is admin and this password so you need to change this right away so you know it works for you but that's how you sign in in your grafana and then while getting in there this um kibana will give us an error because kibana takes a long time to start so be patient with kibana i'm just starting it right now but i know for a fact that it's going to take a while the hive engine x is also this one also took a while to come up so from here just click on this and um, you'll be able to sign in the rest of the documentation here 
shows you how you how to sign in for the ones that don't require you to change the passwords for example the hive this is the default username and password and then you'll be able to sign in there once it's done but once you get in grafana this is the first thing that you see if you're brand new to grafana you just need to go here and do a manage then you see this eval mode then that's where you see your grafana dashboard already made for you pre-made and it will it, start showing you all the performance information for your instance so this is really great that's why i say that uh installing this is really great so then uh this is our um let's register here quick for the hive it's finally loaded so put your password all right so we, we just click register and just let it go um fleet allows us to monitor our endpoints again uh, this this might be a little slow depending on how many resources you gave it i gave this one eight gigs and uh very little resources so it will take a while to, to spin so you get the idea from this dashboard you should be able to uh, end up getting into all the different components and from there just start reading more documentation follow my youtube channel i'm going to be breaking these things into different uh, components showing you how i'm using it maybe to inspire you but let's check out kibana for a second here see if we can finally get there okay it's still loading once your kibana loads you'll see something like this this is just your kibana and after a while you get a bunch of things here you get bro notices Horse intrusion detection, where it will load and show you a bunch of uh, information about your host. This has been running for more than 24 hours, so this is what you will be seeing. Network intrusion detection, again, just showing you some alerts and um, things that you can see. And then, of course, you this is where you can add your host. I mean, this is so much fun, guys. I'm having a blast playing with it. If you like this and if you, are, if you have completed subscribe to my channel you and i will be playing with uh, security onion hybrid hunter will hopefully contribute to the security onion project uh give more value to it and uh, if you like to learn cyber security this channel is definitely for you so consider subscribing and i will see you next time where we'll be creating more labs for learning thanks for watching